Hold on, hold on. Now, this, this is not good. This is not good. Hi, it's Tony here from the Think to Thrive team with another video just for you, for your resilience, confidence and inspiration during these challenging days. Now, you, taught, you saw two scenes there where I was clambering out of the wardrobe or surrounded by office uh, clutter, and paperwork. Yep, I have been clearing space. So today's video, we're gonna look at how clearing space, both mentally and physically, is gonna help you thrive with confidence and focus during these times of challenge. First of all, here's a wonderful quote for you. Don't worry, I didn't find this from inside the wardrobe. Um, by the way, I've got to get in here and sort all these old clothes out. That's my first challenge and the office is the second. They're not going to stay like that. Hmm, maybe I should send you a video of what it looks like when I've finished. Great, a great quote by Karen Kingston. I'm going to uh, show you it just here. Read this out to you as well. Every aspect of your life is anchored energetically in your living space. So, clearing clutter can completely transform your entire existence. What a marvelous quote that is. What a wonderful quote. So, while you're at home during this challenging time and you've got time on your hands to keep that mental focus, you remember Mike talked about the power of choice, to keep that mental focus, how about giving yourself a task to clear out the wardrobe or clear out the office? Because I promise you, just like this quote says here, you will feel so much better. And it's a great use of your time. Such simple advice, such simple advice, but sometimes we just need to hear it, don't we? Again, from somebody else, do we think, mm, yeah, that, that is good advice, I'll get on with that. I'm going to hand over to Mike Hendricks now, who's going to add his perspective on what it means for him to clear that space. And uh, we will see you shortly. Over to Mike now. Have a great week. Keep that mental focus. Go and clear some space and it will also clear your mind. Mike, Mike, Mike. Is he in here? Is he in here? I don't know. Mike, 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 where are you? Are you? Are you? Mike, Mike, where are you? Thanks, Tony. So he's underlined the importance of clearing and decluttering and now is a great time we all have a bit of extra time if not a lot of extra time on our hands so it's a great opportunity for us to go through those cupboards go through those rooms and just shed some unwanted energy it's something that i did at the beginning of the year back in january i went through my wardrobe and i thought I haven't worn that for a while I haven't worn that for a while and then I, it inspired my wife to do the same. The next day, two huge bags. We uh, ended up taking those to a charity shop and it was great. We created space, we decluttered, it felt so much more better. Um, not only because we gave to that charity shop, but also because we got rid of things that we didn't really need. So it's important that you use this time to do the same. But not only do the same in terms of your physical environment, but also do that in the sense of your mental clearing and decluttering as well. Now is a time that you can use to reflect. Reflect on things that you've may have been doing in the past before that haven't really been serving you in the way that you would like. So use that time effectively to help declutter your mind. I know for myself, on a regular basis, I go into short and long deep meditations which help me to just become still, become present, and just re recognize the things that matter and um, that may be something that you want to try also as well so hope you found that of value don't forget to give it a thumbs up and as i always do ask you to subscribe if you've not subscribed to our channel and share it with your circle of influence so here's to your success stay well until next time